Well, what's going on you guys? Welcome to another episode of Business Every Day. My name is Jonathan and on today's episode we are going to be taking a slight turn from the kind of projects that we've been working on. So we've been focusing on house and things that I will be adding to my shop and today we're going to actually be working on a special gift. Uh, in a couple of weeks is my father's birthday and so I was like, oh, I bet I can make him something pretty cool uh, with the skills that I've learned in the last few months. So what we're going to do is we're going to incorporate the things that we've learned, which is epoxy resin, the x carve CNC, the 3D modeling, and some of those skills. And we are going to be making a wireless charger. Now, there are many wireless chargers out there on the market, and some of them just look fantastic, and other ones are just, you know, just basic little pads that you can charge your phone with. I wanted to use my skills and create something very unique and special and aesthetically pleasing. I'm going to try and make a wireless charger using some old oak, some resin, and a wireless charger that I already pre-purchased. So let's see what we can come up with. The design is not yet finalized, but I think we're making some headway. So let's go. Well, all right. So the planning, I think, is done. We got this mid-1800s piece of rough-cut oak that I actually acquired from my parents' property. Um, it was just a little piece. And we're going to be cutting this down into something like this. We're going to be cutting this down to, I think, a 5 by 6 inch rectangle. And we are going to be doing this sort of design. Uh, on the back side. So I have here is a Tozo uh, wireless charger that I just picked up from Amazon. They're a fairly good, reliable brand, at least it's been in my experience. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut this piece of material with the X-Carve, and we are going to do an inlay, and this will actually be on the underside of the material. Now, I've done a few tests and I think it will still work through wood, but I'm not a hundred percent sure on this. So we're going to give it a go and see what we got. But I do have all my measurements. I got my calipers out and measured everything. And so now we just need to mock it up and get to carving. All right, what I've decided to do is something completely new because, yeah, uh, I'm gonna try and plane this using the X-Carve. Um, I could be sanding it for hours and hours and I don't yet have a planer and I can get it relatively smooth, but I wanna change the thickness. This is uh, right now about 7 eighths and it's really rough and I don't really have an end mill like planer bit, but I do have a flat bit and so I'm going to try and program the X-Carve to take off, I don't know, an eighth, maybe a sixteenth on each side and just thin us out a little bit and hopefully give us a flat edge to work with. So I sanded this side down just so I could clamp this side down to the table and I would have something, I think, relatively flat. Uh, I mean, on my, uh, yeah, on my right angle, it's pretty flat. Um, but yeah, we're going to see how this goes. I got it all clamped down and I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> uh, this is a large bit and um, it's going to be moving a lot of material. So... Yeah, um, let's see how this goes. Uh, woo! So scary! I 
don't know why, but that was so scary. <laughs> Would you look at that? Ooh, that's smooth. Uh, okay, so I learned something. Um, I did the tool path that did things in a circle. Um, if I were to do this again, which I'm about to, uh, I would do the left and right or the just the X and Y. Um, yeah, I don't know why I didn't even think about it. So, lessons learned. So, I'm going to chop this down on the table saw and get it closer to its final dimensions. I'll be right back. Well, look at that. Oh, how pretty and square this is. And then this side is absolutely hideous. But this side is amazing. <laughs> I am pretty stoked. totally nerve-wracking part where we actually have to do this cut and hope it goes okay double check the math ah! Oh my gosh, that was nerve-wracking. <laughs> ah! uh, I think it turned out pretty good. It did go over the edge just a hair. I think I'll be able to work it out though. But, um, woo! <laughs> oh, that was so scary. Well, the math and the modeling uh, is done, but now the scariest part of the whole thing, you actually gotta cut it out. Ah, <laughs> I'm so scared. Whoo. I, I am, a, I, yeah, actually a little scared of how this is all gonna turn out. Whoo. Uh, let's find our center mark and then it's time to cut! Ooh, I got a problem! Okay, so my zero was off because I was stupid. And now I've already cut a little bit of material out. So, how do I get a depth? Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was so scary. Um, it didn't punch through. So that's awesome. And we got all the layers. We got the spots for the magnets. This is where the back plate will go. And, oh man, that was so scary. Um, yeah, let's pull it out of the clamps and let's dry fit this thing. Uh, without the power cord, it fits. Oh, hold on. Let's see. Look at that. 
it fits perfectly. And with the power cord, I just need to notch out the little tip right here just a little bit. And then this thing should sit flush. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. It is plugged in. Let's see if it charges. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's so, that's so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's it say? Fast charging is not compatible with the phone. Okay, so maybe it's the power supply that I have it hooked up to, but it is charging. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Yeah! <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh! Wow! Wow! Okay, so you just center it on the material and it charges. When I first thought about this design, I didn't have any idea if it was actually going to work, but uh, here we are, and it's working! Oh my gosh! Well, there you have it with the magnets installed, and what I decided to do was I did two magnets. Um, one on this side, that's attractive, that's attractive, that's repulsive, and that is repulsive. And that is so that I can get the orientation of my back plate uh, correct if I ever need to pull it off, because I think it's only going to fit one particular way. And so when I put in the magnets, I'll just make sure to correlate it so it'll go click. Okay, the backing magnets are installed, and like I said, I did alternate so that it can only go one way. And then I just did the X-carve and put in the magnets on this side. Uh, I made the holes just a little bit small so that it actually bites into the wood. And so, let's put it in. Oh, it's so nice! Look at that! Well, there you have it. Uh, I think it is ready for curing. And so it's going to take probably at least 24, probably closer to 48 hours for this thing to cure. Just because of how stinking cold it is right now in Middle Tennessee. But I will put a heater on it. And then I will check back in with you guys tomorrow to let you know how this thing's going. Because I think it's turning out pretty fantastic. Well, what's going on, you guys? It has been about three days since this thing has cured, and hopefully we have a completed resin dry piece of work that we can now do something with. Uh, it's going to require a lot of sanding, and yeah, I I'm really looking forward to finishing this piece. Look at it. Here it is. Oh my goodness, it is so smooth. Um, we definitely have a lot to clean up on the sides, and... I got a, definitely a lot of drips and got some of that foil tape to pull off um, and I went ahead and put the charger in there and there's actually even oops there's uh, some droplets that got in here which I'm not sure how that happened but we'll definitely have to clean those up in order for everything to fit properly um, but this is going to require some quite a bit of sanding but let's first uh, remove the little feet that I put on temporarily um, that got resined on, and we'll start sanding this thing. So the goal to sanding it um, is uh, the black that I put over everything um, kind of just gave it some depth and and 
and color, but uh, I plan on sanding most of it off and just leaving the black uh, inlay. So let's get to it. There you have it guys another build in the books this one i gotta say used a lot of skills that i've either had or recently acquired or things that i'm still trying to hone in epoxy resin cnc the sanding the finish there's just so many things went into this project and i gotta say i'm actually really proud of the result this is something that went from thought to the digital space back into something physical and i don't know i i gotta say it's it was a fun one, and I am excited to present it to my father as a gift here in the next little bit for his birthday, and hopefully this charger does him well. And yeah, it was just a thrill to be able to build this project and see it all come together with its bits and pieces. So thank you so much for joining in, and stay tuned for the next episode.